How's everyone doing on this marvelous, marvelous Friday today? I hope all is well and everything is great and fine with you guys. I got on my bonnet because I'm lounging around. I just woke up like an hour ago. I took Blackie out on an early morning walk. Usually I don't take him this early, but I'm in a midst of doing a transformation. Today's video is about why do doctors do that? Why do doctors do that? What I'm saying and where I'm going with this, I'm about to tell y'all in a few minutes. Um, So December the 5th, December the 5th, I got some blood work done. December 5th, 2018, I always go get me a checkup before the end of the year is out. So I went to go get blood work done. They took about four, five tubes of blood from me. And I, you know, I get a checkup every year because that's what I do. And then I got a following um, checkup June of this year. So, yeah. So I went to go get blood work done. And... This was like December 5th, 2018. And my doctor called me back like two weeks later after the time when I went to the doctor. Said, um, Rita, we want to talk about your blood results, your blood work. So if you can, I'm sorry that I miss you. I want you to call me back because it's best for me to explain it over the phone than to just mail it to you. So I'm like... Okay, so I called back, tried to reach my doctor, and I couldn't reach her. So at this time, my heart is racing, my mind is racing, I'm getting upset, I'm getting worked up, I'm getting angry, I'm starting to get pissed, because she said she had to go over some blood results with me about my test. So I'm like, oh my God. So when I tried to call her, I couldn't get a hold to her. So that was the first time. So I waited two hours later. I called her again. No answer. The phone just ringing in our office. They can't seem to get a hold of my doctor. So now mind you, this is like a Friday or Saturday. So couldn't get no answer from her. So I had to wait the following Monday. Called her again. Still couldn't get a hold to her. So now this time I'm getting pissed, upset. I'm starting to cry because I can't get a hold of her. So I told them to leave her a message for her to get back to me. So I called her again. Couldn't get in touch with her again. So at this time I'm getting pissed. I'm like, I'm just going to go up to the doctor's office because it's not too far from me. So I called again. Couldn't reach her. Now I'm really getting pissed, really getting mad. You have a phone number on me. You have my email address. And you have my address to my apartment. If it's that so much of a big deal, you want to get in touch with me. Why didn't you? <laughs> you got my mind racing. I can't think properly. I can't eat properly. I don't know what's going on in the back of my head because I'm thinking something's wrong. Now, here it is, the e the 11th of December of today. I want to say it's the 11th of today. I called back 8 o'clock this morning. I said, you know what? I've been trying to reach my doctor for the last past two weeks about my blood results, about my blood tests. And she hasn't called me. One of her nurses has not got back to me to tell me what's going on. And I want to know because if it's anything that can be fixed that I can get treated for or whatever, I need to know these things and not be having a runaround. I have my mind racing. Oh, Rita, we're so sorry to hear about that. Um, what's your birthday, your date of birth again? And I get my date of birth. My first and last name. Oh, give me one second. Nurse is coming out with your results. I was like, okay. 
Oh, Rita, everything is fine. You are in good health, good standards, good condition. Um, you're in excellent health. The only thing is your blood glucose is kind of high, a kind of high. So you want to make sure to monitor and slow down on your sugar intake. Do you see how I'm looking, y'all? Y'all did all that hoopla for two to three weeks about my blood test results. Not saying that I'm taking my sugar intake lightly because I'm not at all. Because my mom was a diabetic and they said I could be on the borderline if I don't watch my sugar intake. But this is the thing I'm saying. Y'all calling me and get my mind racing like I got, you know, something that can't be fixed or a major health problem. Why do doctors do that? You see what I'm saying? That's why I said, why do they get you worked up like that, like something's wrong? Why do they do that to their patients? And then do they do that to all patients? Or, you know, you got my mind racing for two to three weeks over just to tell me that I'm in good health, good standards, and my blood glucose is, I can't say that word, it's kind of high. Really? Why do they do that? I, I just, I was like, okay, thank you for telling me. That's it, that's all. Yes, Miss Walker, that's it, that's all. Everything else, just watch your sugar intake because you don't want to be a diabetic. I said, okay, I can do that. I know how to, you know, you know, handle that, control that. So, yeah. Don't be, don't be doing that to me. You had my whole two to three weeks messed up. That's all I wanted to say, y'all. This was a little doctor's rant. Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to let you know every time I upload. Bye, guys.